What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and today I have a question for you. Would you like to learn how to make these amazing 4D and 5D BIM simulations? And if the answer is yes, well then make sure to stay tuned because that's the topic of today's video. Within the advanced BIM analysis is the smart 4D and 5D planning and scheduling as a continuation of the integrated BIM process. I will explain how to create a construction methodology and zones and use them to generate a location-based construction schedule, develop 5D simulation, and of course generate reports. Intelligent scheduling is part of the integrated BIM process. Now, the first three lessons within the advanced BIM analysis are focused on geometry and data verification. Uh, lesson four, the 5D cost estimation, is very important for this video because I will be using the previously created cost classification to generate a 5D schedule. Uh, now, links uh, to those uh, videos will be in the description below. Uh, also, important to mention this is a sponsored video in collaboration with the Backsell manager. So this is lesson five in our uh, series and after this lesson we will be two steps closer to a trustworthy and data-driven uh, construction management. Construction schedules are defined by works, work sequencing and their relations and by spatial organization of these works. Uh, this is the workflow for smart scheduling which relies on zones and methodologies in order to automate the entire uh, planning process. Construction methodology is basically logic for work sequencing. Uh, work sequencing can have more than one level. The first level of methodology is the logic of how elements of the building will be executed. And with the second level, we can create a more in detail uh, in detailed methodology for building elements. Uh, for example, for concrete beam, we can define sequencing for form work, reinforcement, pouring, and finishing. Usually building levels and project phases are specified as zones. Zones are a spatial organization of the building. Elements of the building can be distributed horizontally and vertically and zones will use spatial distribution of elements and create relations between them. After defining zones and methodologies, the system intelligently combines all zones with all methodology items. Based on the pre predefined rules and relations, the engine spreads down methodology work items through the zones and generates entire schedule with hundreds or thousands of tasks. Schedule optimization, resource leveling, fine-tuning of task relations uh, and durations will be the topic of the next video. In the end, the whole system is BIM-based and everything is linked to the model elements. Uh, we are able to analyze schedules within the Bexel Manager, play 4D and 5D simulations, export reports to Power BI and much, much more. Just a quick reminder, if you're not using the Bexel Manager yet, you can always request a free trial with full license features and automatically get access to the user area where you can find a lot of educational materials, sample models, and so on. Okay, let's start with the demonstration of today's workflow. In the previous lesson, we have learned how to create a BIM-based cost classification and cost uh, version of bill of quantities using common project BIM data, categories, and families. For the purpose of this video, I will explain the process of creating a smart schedule for structural works. We will go through the whole process step by step. First, let's create a new schedule, name it, and choose a previously created cost version and hit OK. The parent task is created and will be used as the base for smart scheduling process. Now go to the schedule ribbon and open methodology editor. Here we can see already created sample QTO based methodology, which you can find within the sample model. I will show you how to create a methodology from scratch. Click new methodology button, name it and hit OK. Then right mouse click, a new item and then select linked. 
Methodology items form is open and you can select items from cost classification which will become methodology nodes. I will select structural works. All methodology nodes are linked to respective cost items and since everything is assigned to chosen cost versions, everything is also linked to a 3D BIM, uh, to 3D BIM elements. Now I will organize these nodes and make logical relations between them. On the right side of the window, by selecting relation, you can define the relationship between activities. Uh, is it start, 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 finish, finish, start, finish, finish. Now let's create the zones of the project. I will go to the custom breakdown tab and create color coded zones to explain what we'll use. First, let's create CBS for building levels, set color coded rule and hit OK. Switch to the color coded view. Here you can see structural elements vertically distributed by levels, which will be our first zone. For the next zone, I will use a property already defined within the model elements, construction sequence for horizontal distribution of elements. Set color coding rule and hit OK. Here we can see uh, elements distributed by construction phases and uh, if we select one of these elements, we can confirm that the elements have that property defined. Now I will generate selection sets from created CBS and use them as nodes for zone creation. Right click on the folder uh, creation wizard and choose desired CBS. OK, let's create zones. Click on new zone, name it and hit OK. Right click new item and choose linked. Select levels and check create relations for automatic relations between levels. And that's it. Now you can change relationship type same as for methodologies. Now let's create a zone for construction sequence. Again, choose a linked option, select sequences from the dialog and check create relation. Save created zones and open the creation template. The creation template will combine zones and methodologies in a logical way to make a schedule hierarchy. The first level within the schedule hierarchy will be methodology. Hit OK. Then building levels as the last level construction sequence. As you may notice, all, uh, all three times I have chosen the new dynamic rule, which means that any change in the model that refers to these zones and methodology will be reflected on the schedule. Now let's implement this template. Right click on the parent task, click on creation wizard within the open form, import created template, hit OK. And as we can see, previously created hierarchy is loaded. Once again, hit OK and let's check out the results. The schedule is generated within a second and with the same relations between tasks from the methodology and zones and default duration, 40 working hours. Uh, we can analyze it through Gantt or line of balance view where we can see the more detailed preview of the schedule activities per zone. To finally preview 5D simulation, we can use tab schedule animation and schedule view and play it. As we can see, elements are automatically linked to the schedule, elements are executed as we've created relations within the methodology, first the foundations, then the beams, then slabs, and then walls and columns. Uh, but we want these relations to be transferred through all levels. To correct that, I will go to the methodology editor, select all relations and check option copy to children. Now I will repeat the process of schedule creation, which is new schedule, creation wizard, load template, and then choose update uh, one previously created and hit OK. 
copy to children option means that selected relations between nodes will be copied through zone items within the schedule hierarchy. Now there are more relations between tasks and more detailed schedule. Let's check out the flow line view. Okay, now let's switch to the an automation tab, animation tab, <laughs> update and play 5D simulation. This simulation looks much better, but still there are some elements of the upper level that are executed before the element on the lower level. So I will go back to the methodology editor and show you the uh, constructive relation option. With these uh, relation types, we are saying that the beams and slabs on the upper level cannot be executed before the walls and columns on the lower level are created. To make this construction relation uh, active, I will go to the zone editor and enable levels to be uh, constructive. Once again, I will repeat the process of schedule creation. So new schedule, then creation wizard, load template, choose updated one previously created, and then finally just hit OK. Let's go through the Gantt chart. Once again, the schedule is just for structural works, so the flow line is very simple. Let's update the animation and check the 5D simulation now. It looks fine now, BIM elements are executed in a logical way. Now, when we've learned the process of smart schedule creation using methodologies and zones, let's take a look at the sample uh, methodology for all elements in the building. At the beginning of this video, I have explained that methodology can have more than one level, and this is how it looks uh, like on a beam example. I will generate a schedule within the creation template, which is using uh, this methodology. So once more, new schedule, creation wizard. Uh, from a template list, I will choose the QTO-based template with two levels of methodology and then just hit OK. Here we can see that the rules, which are almost the same as we would create as we created before, only with an additional level, uh, an additional level of methodology. Hit OK and let's take a look at this schedule. We can see that uh, hundreds of tasks are automatically generated with all relations and default task duration. If we select one task and click on the task editor, we can notice that one task has a set of activities and that we can analyze their exact quantities, costs, and resources. Just a quick switch to a smart schedule with defined uh, resources. Uniformat, for example, uh, let's open up the task editor and take a look at how much information we can get about one task, their activities, quantities, resources. And so uh, with the Bexel smart engine, a schedule is no longer uh, related just to task and their relations, but to one more level of detail, uh, activities on that task. Okay, let's go back to the QTO schedule previously created. The next step will be fine-tuning the schedule, task durations, optimizations, resource leveling, and so on. As I said in the beginning, this will be the topic of the next video. Let's switch to the animation tab, and on the options button you can edit animation settings, all about settings you can find within the Bexel manuals. Let's change the interval type for elements in the simulation from daily to hourly and for more detailed simulation. Switch to display simulation in animation form. As I said, a whole new video will be based on animation creation and settings in the Bexel manager. So I will for now use the created one and play simulation. Within a schedule viewer, you can see a list of current activities and information about the date, uh, completed the cost, and percentage of project completion at that date. For the end of this video, I just want to show you schedule reports on just created smart schedule and what they look like after the optimization with just a small effort. Here we can see an optimized line of balance, our Gantt chart, and 
Power BI analysis for cost and schedule. So I've tried to explain in detail the wide options for smart schedule creation inside of the Bexel Manager. And in the next video, we will talk uh, about and we will learn about uh, schedule optimization. Uh, and of course, if you want to learn more about this uh, topic, you can always check out the Bexel webinars, which are included within the educational materials and the links will be in the description just below this video. So thank you for watching and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.